Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about equivalent ratios. So for the first two pages, you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and then try some problems on your own, and then finally see how you did. All right, so equivalent, what, what does it mean? Okay, well equivalent means equal, right? And the rule for ratios is to write an equivalent ratio is you take the numerator and the denominator of the ratio and you multiply it by the same factor, all right? So let me show you how. Let's say, for example, we have a pizza. It looks pretty good, right? And let's put that pizza right down the middle. So it's going to be one half, all right? So that represents one half. And now let's, I'm going to take the one and the two and I'm going to multiply it by the same factor. Let's use, um, how about two? All right. So now when I multiply, one times two is two and two times four is two. What, so what this means is two-fourths is the same as one-half. And let me prove it to you. Let me now divide the pizza into fourths, all right? And now when I shade in half the pizza, noticing, notice I'm basically shading in two of the four slices, all right? So let's do another one here. This time we have two-fifths. And I'm going to multiply it by a common factor of, I don't know, let's go seven. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the two times seven and also the five times seven. So two times seven is 14, and five times seven is 35, which means 14 35ths is the same as two fifths. All right, so the rule I want you to write uh, inside the box is, all right, to write equivalent ratios, you multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same factor. So multiply the numerator and denominator by the same factor. And please underline the word same, that is key. All right, all right, let's turn the page. And a couple more things. So you're gonna need to also figure out how to tell if two ratios are equal, okay? And there's really two ways of doing it, okay? I prefer the, the first method, but I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. So method number one is if the cross products are the same. So let's write that down. Uh, cross products are equal. All right. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if I multiply 3 times 10, well, 3 times 10 is 30. And if I multiply 6 times 5, that's also 30, okay? When the cross products are the same, that's a characteristic of equal fractions, all right? So if these numbers were not the same, that means the fractions would not be equal. So if you look down here, here we have 3 sevenths and 6 fifteenths. Well, 3 times 15 is 45, and 6 times 7 is 42, so that means these fractions are not equal, all right? Uh, over here, we have 4 times 4 is 16, and three times five, let's put a 15 in this box. And because the cross products are not the same, all right, that means these are not equal fractions. All right, so that's method one. Method number two is just like I showed you on the first page of the notes, where you multiply both the numerator and denominator by a common factor. So let's just write down um, CF for common factor. So three times five is 15, and four times five is 20. So both the three and the four were multiplied by a common factor of five. All right, so why don't you uh, pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, hit play and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. So for this problem, you had to circle all the pairs of equivalent fractions. All right, so remember there's two different ways. You can do the cross product way or see if the numerator and denominator were multiplied by the same factor. So for the first one, um, I know that six times two is 12, and seven times two is 14. So both the six and seven are multiplied by a common factor of two, so that means that these ratios are equivalent. All right, let's go down here. Here we have two ninths and four eighths. Uh, well, two times two is four, and nine times two is 18, which means that these two fractions are equal. Uh, four fifths and eight ninths. Well, I know that four times nine is 36, 
I know that 8 times 5 is 40. And because 36 does not equal 40, I know those are not equivalent. Uh, here we have 9 uh, tenths and 18 twentieths. Well, again, 9 times 2 is 18. 10 times 2 is 20, so these are equal. And then finally, 4 ninths and 8 tenths. Well, um, 4 times 10 is 40. And 8 times 9 is 72. And because those are not equal, uh, these are not equal fractions. All right, how'd you do?